Hey everyone, just here with another quick tutorial on how to host your website on GitHub Pages. And so what I mean by that is, as you can see here, um, I just have a really basic website that I have on my local computer and I'm just gonna be able to host it on GitHub Pages so that when people go to the GitHub page URL, they're able to see the exact website that I have on my computer. And so all you need for this is a GitHub account. And so once you make a GitHub account, this is what your homepage will look like. Go ahead and just click new here on the top left and here, uh, you have to make sure you get this step exactly right or it won't work. Go ahead and type in what your GitHub username is. So in my case, it's live determined. And then type in dot GitHub dot IO. And when you type in this exact format, GitHub is going to know it's like a GitHub pages and that you're trying to host a website. Go ahead and click public and check out a readme and then hit create repository. Okay, now that our repo has been successfully created, the next step is to go ahead and just drag and drop your uh, index file for your website into the GitHub repo. And go ahead and click commit changes here. And once you have done that, it's gonna take a couple seconds. And now you should see your index file here. And now this next part will probably take a minute or two, it just depends. But once like all the changes have successfully processed, now when you go to your URL here, um, you'll see your what you see the website that I had earlier on my local machine. Uh, you now see at this URL, which is like livedetermined.github.io, and that's all you pretty much need to do is post your website on GitHub Pages, um, because now like anytime you want to make an update to this uh, URL, you can just go ahead and just update your uh, GitHub repo here, and then the changes will be reflected on your actual website. And if you would like as well, you can go back to settings and go down to custom domain and I have a separate video showing you how you can connect a custom domain to your GitHub pages. So if this video helped in any way, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe.